You wouldn't know it, but this handsome little car is actually the fourth generation Kia Rio. It's better looking and comes with a far more advanced infotainment system than its predecessor. However, as far as the engine and transmission goes, it really hasn't progressed very far. As you can see, the new design helps the small city car mature up substantially with the application of Kia's enhanced Tiger Nose Grille that is now thinner and wider. What we love the most about the front design of this car are these very cool U-shaped daytime running lights that come standard on the top spec SLI. The rear design is also very much in line with its bigger brother the Serato, now offering a larger boot capacity and much smaller rear overhangs. But while it looks pretty good from the outside, it's the interior that in my opinion at least has had the biggest upgrade. So, it's not all black in here anymore and that's really helped by this silver highlight that runs through the dash. Also, there are a lot of horizontal lines that help emphasize the width of the car's interior. This 7 inch screen though is the highlight of the car's interior. It has Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, so it's your smartphone's best friend. It also means that it'll remain future proof for many years to come. But even just using the system itself, I'm really impressed by how fast it is and how good the screen looks, even in direct sunlight. It's also quite practical in here. You've got these much larger cup holders as well as these bottle holders in the door. But also, and perhaps most importantly, you've got a very large storage area here for your smartphone sitting right above a USB charger, of which there are two. One up here for the front passengers and one for the rear ones. But while it looks pretty good from the outside and the interior has had a substantial upgrade, the Achilles heel of the new Rio is actually its powertrain. And that's because the Rio is powered by a carryover 1.4 litre naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. But worst of all, that's coupled to a four speed gearbox. Now I gotta tell you, that's pretty peculiar in this day and age. However, it really shouldn't matter as long as the driving experience is good. But in this car, with just 74 kilowatts of power and 133 newton meters of torque, this little Rio isn't going anywhere fast. When it is going, however, the ride comfort and the dynamics of the new Rio are actually pretty good. No doubt helped by the Australian specific tuning of the car suspension system. I'm also pleasantly surprised by the car's power steering system. It gives a lot more feedback and it's quite responsive. It's surprising actually. It is a fun little car to drive. Overall, for a starting price of around $17,000 with a ridiculous seven year unlimited kilometer warranty, the new Rio brings a lot to the table. Now, if you can live with its engine and its transmission, it's a pretty damn good city car for the money.